Hey everyone, Sky here with Big Battery. And when it comes to our batteries, we love the Anderson connector. And we've been getting some questions about why we use these cables versus the standard metal terminals. So we want to share with you all a bit about our manufacturing philosophy and why we design around the Anderson connector. There's three primary reasons why the Anderson connector serves as a better method for the charging and installation of your batteries. First, safety. Keeping the terminals in a durable, chemical resistant, and contact free housing means that you don't need gloves or other safety equipment to handle your batteries, and they won't be at risk in rough or potentially hazardous environments. Second, simplicity. Anderson cables are not only easy to connect and disconnect, but also easy to service, boasting accessibility that can't be found in metal terminals. And lastly, lifespan. Anderson connectors require zero routine maintenance and offer more mating cycles than metal terminals, which can suffer from corrosion and other damage. Let's head outside so you can see the Anderson connectors in action. Alrighty guys, so we've already taken the six lead acid batteries out of this golf cart, and we've dropped in two of our 24 volt lithium ion battery boxes. Now let's say you want to take these out, service them, replace them, whatever it might be. Let me show you how simple this is. Well, it took all of 30 seconds, maybe less. Now let's say you want to do that with a lead acid battery. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm just breaking my back over here with how heavy this is. Now if you want to do the lead acid battery, you have to carry a small tool bag with you because you need your pliers, your ratchet, your gloves, and if you really want to be safe about it, you need goggles. <clears throat> now. It's not nearly as simple as the one, two of our lithium ion battery boxes. Some of these battery banks, these lead acid battery banks can be grossly complex. And they only get more complex, the more power you need. Now, even with other lithium ion batteries, connecting and disconnecting can be incredibly complex. But with a big battery setup, we use the Anderson cable to make it as simple and as safe for you. So let's go over which Anderson cables we use in our batteries and which ones you might need for a DIY project of your own. We use the SB175 and the SB50 in all of our battery systems. And these numbers refer to the amperage of the current that can safely pass through the cables. For most battery setups, the SB50 or 175 will do the trick. We use the SB175 in our larger batteries, such as our power blocks, power walls, and some of our battery boxes. And we use the FB SB50 in some of our smaller power packs. These cables use six and eight gauge wire respectively. Now, some of you might be saying, well, won't that gauge wire not be rated for the kind of current your battery puts out? That's a valid concern. However, when working with smaller gauge wire, the length also determines its limits. So in our batteries, the short length of our wires allow for a smaller gauge to be used for a higher amperage. Now, there is also the SB350, which can handle very high current systems, should you be in need of it. If you're in need of an Anderson connector that we don't offer, check out the link in the description below for more cable options. I hope this video helped you to understand more about the Anderson connector and why we're so committed to it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.